Now it really looks like a racetrack. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Salt back at it again. We got a couple good phone calls guys. We were supposed to go pick up La Perlita today. We got a new motor going in there right now. Oscar's been working on it all morning, but nine in the morning hit red calls me he's like hey bro your motor for the blue truck's ready so guess what red is gonna be dropping off that motor at oscars we we're planning on dropping off the obs because we picked up the obs we're gonna take it off the trailer we're gonna pick up the blue truck bring it over to oscars and try to get the blue truck as a crunch as well so we can take the blue truck la perlita then an expected turn hit right around 11 in the morning when i had already planned everything out flaco starts calling and then jr starts calling and guess what guys i'm about to give you a good ass surprise but before that there's my boy canelo he's gonna be the pound for pound king out here isabella and tan this is my best production so far show him the back but uh yeah this is pound for pound his mama's only 12 pounds because that is a new shade she's a full isabella but behind me as y'all see is the giveaway truck it's freshly wrapped everything looks good on it still got a couple details that we gotta go through we got a little lineup right here we got the lining i keep her here because i like to cruise around here and there we got the honda that we gotta get the whole front end fixed still on it and we got this baby. She's going to be at LSD sitting there. We've still been waiting on parts. The guy never hit me up with my parts. She's still looking pretty. I got dust all over her from her sitting in here. I haven't even drove her since we last put her up. But that being said, guys, we're about to head back out. We're going to go meet up Flaco and we're going to show you the surprise after that. Just a little update on what's been going on with the Trailblazer guys. I wanted to tell y'all all about it. Basically, when we picked up this Trailblazer, we were just supposed to slap an engine in it, which was the engine that came with it. Once we actually got back home, we started getting into a truck. We got the engine. The engine we had got had the wrong reluctor. We bought an engine that needed to get rebuilt for no reason. But whenever we checked it out, since we picked it up at night, we didn't realize that. That being said, we ended up rebuilding that motor. Basically, something really bad happened. We blew up the motor. It happened out of nowhere. It wasn't Nickens' fault. It wasn't our fault. It was just a misunderstanding between me and the tuner. Like, I didn't realize that my guy didn't end up tuning it all the way. And I decided to hit it after leaving muffler time. That caused the motor to blow up. So I had to go rebuild the whole nother motor. And then once we got the whole nother motor rebuilt, it ended up having transmission issues so then we went and rebuilt the transmission as of now we're like 80 percent of that truck is brand stank new besides the body so this is why the giveaway has been prolonged but by next week we should be giving now the official date that we're going to be giving away the truck and we're going to do it live at the taco stand but where are we at heading to blocos to go pick up the truck right now how far are we eight minutes away so eight minutes away from flaco hey show them how it looks out here though <laughs> oh yeah it's crazy so out of the middle of nowhere he lives, yeah, literally in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty lit out here. But literally, so the phone call was, hey, your truck is ready, come pick it up. So that's what we're doing right now. And here we are, guys. There's the Mamalona. Like, everything you see at this man's property is looking crazy. It looks exotic. Man, look how bad we messed that up, bro. I told you we messed it up. But yeah, this is it. Look, here you go. Here's the first upgrade we see. So we got a fuel cell. We got the aeromotive fuel system. This is pretty lit. Like now it really looks like a race truck just because of this. Got the bracket for the <laughs> the bed looks clean. Like I don't know what he did to it. He probably pressure washed it. Oh, by the way, I saw uh, a lady that I think you know, you might know. They sell carbon fiber dashes. We're going to go look for that. But uh, that's crazy. I just noticed that. Start, ignition, accelerate. I don't know what anything there does, but I'm guessing that's what it does. Oh, look. Look at this. The CO2 tank, it's like, it's a NOS tank. So we're gonna be boosted and NOS. Nah, I'm kidding. It's a CO2 tank. So what that's gonna do is gonna help the turbos pull up way faster. So it will make me gap you way faster. <laughs>
we just played out Flaco teaching me game about the whole thing why the reason why they couldn't make the key turn on and everything but right now he's just gonna help me take off the it's a whole big process to this. He made the truck look like a race truck. As y'all can tell, like that interior, that right there, like it's super cool. We're gonna show y'all in a little bit how it turns on and everything. I'm super excited. I can't wait to race this truck and have some fun with it. What he was explaining to me was on these models, it's a five bolt, so we'll never get the key to turn on the truck. Unlike the cat eyes and all that, whenever you put a holly, he has a setup like a race truck. So we turn on ignition and then we hold this. Fucking awesome, that's the first truck I have right there. And then obviously these are gonna be for a little bit of fun and joy, but we'll show y'all what those do later on. So we made it into Conroe. I just stopped by for a couple decals, windshield banners, one for myself and one for my boy right here. Let's show them what that looks like. This is the same body style truck as mine, just a lot cleaner paint job. But look at that. Black, that shit looks crazy. It looks even better from like straight ahead. pounds of boost guys this button right here is gonna activate the rest of the 16 pounds that I got on this too but I just ran it on six pounds and this thing just smokes them straight all the way across let me show them right now it's a main road I don't really like around right here but uh I was still under the speed limit so it was legal thank you Uh, you know I try like six pounds. You ready to hit the streets or what? I'm gonna hit the track. So no más, que le bajo aire. Pero ah, pero el track no. No, el track. Let me let me get yours. Ya sí. Pedro va a ser güey que por ir a un radio. Usted, ¿qué va a estar corriendo? Pues las llantas que traiga güey. Si trae radio, pues radio. No, no, no. Like where you planning to go, güey? Over there at the track. Pues voy a ver. Eso les voy a bajar aire. Pues sube este pedo. Huh? That's what I'm saying. So put slick on it. Slick on it. I thought slick. Okay, he wasn't gonna fix the lights, but he ended up fixing the lights. Ah, ya se mira todo. Ya se mira todo. Yeah, otro pedo ahora sí. Ah, pero se mira de show. Es como ahora sí, ¿no? Se ve bien perro el titanio, güey. No mames, you're probably the only one with shit like this. Nah, like... Full time exhaust? No, not... Like, I've been searching it up because I've been saying I'm the only one and no, no sale de otra tropa. Not another Chevy, at least. Yeah, no, no. I mean, for imports and cars and shit, pero una Chevy así con twin travel, you're the only one. For sure. For sure. This shit looks sick. No más un otro. Se aventó el JR. Si, wey. No, y está bonita las vueltas, todas las vueltas. No, hombre, se ve bien placosa, cuz. This shit looks top of the line right here. Yeah, yeah. No Mickey Mouse. Mira, wey, como bonita se mira. No, el pinche JR se aventó machín. El top view se mira chingón. Si, wey. Como, like, a picture from right here. ¿Qué piensas? ¿Le quito el hood para el event? Hell yeah. This place looks clean, así, wey. So, entonces ahorita vamos a ir a quitarle el hood. Para que se mire. Si, si no, no se mira. Con el de este down, you wouldn't tell this shit's under here. Todo el wey de, de mi house para acá, ahorita, casi todos los carros que paso, like, they turn around and they look, porque yo creo que se escucha el lado. I heard it when you, oh, like, you're in a turbo truck, I like it, you're in a turbo truck, you know, like, oh, it's a hood, wey. Yeah, they all turn around and they look at me, and then, they kind of like, what the f***? Play 85. Hombre, está bien perro, me quedó bien bonito. Ya con todos los wiring arreglados, se aventó. Yeah, no, sí. Mira, güey, pinche de este que como se agarra color bien perro. Yo creo que así se va a quedar porque ya tiene rato así. Nomás está acá, de este lado está agarrando purple. Las sí. maneras que cambia y cambia y cambia. We're about a certified truck. So we got a little bit of work right now. We got take these stickers off they're pretty old so they're fragile but once we do that we're gonna come back and we're gonna show y'all 
the truck with the new sticker. That way tomorrow everybody knows which truck it is when it's at the track. I mean, besides the fact that we're taking the hood off. But meantime, Oscar's taking out the motor. Off the back of the Perlita, because that's the second motor we're building for the Perlita for once this one blows up. But we don't need it in the back, so he's taking it out and cleaning it up so we can go pump gas in it and we're gonna drive it around. Rick's gonna make sure everything still seems fine. On that one, it was a 5.3, now it's converted over to a 4.8 because 4.8s handle a little bit more boost. What you think? You think you'll get me in your truck? You only got one turbo. So you got me? I got you. How much you wanna put on that? This is the middle right here, like right next to the eye. So, you go straight up. Straight up. Right there. Who got an ID? Let me see. Yeah, an ID. Oh, yeah, that looks good right there. Yeah. That thing certified. You need one for the Miata. <laughs> and just like that. Go put it this way. Right now, so we came, went down the street. As you can tell, he's down there. He's about to do a, a hit right now by us. See how it sounds. What y'all think? It's good. Crazy. Look at look at look at the tire marks. <laughs> I marked the hell out of them. That yeah. was good. That was that was like on six pounds, like me, maybe like a third of the throttle down. Not bad. It's yeah. crazy. Can't wait to see it at the track. Well, <laughs> Alright guys, so it is Friday and I did promise y'all that I was gonna do track nights on Fridays. So what we're doing right now is we're heading out to HMP when I'm gonna do a couple runs, make sure that the papaya is ready for tomorrow for the truck nationals. guys so as y'all saw last night we got about three races in got to dial the truck in at seven seconds on the eighth of a mile and that was of course spinning out half the track the truck felt like it was just wobbling like it was some kind of warm down the track but here's one thing i had to show y'all look how loud this fuel pump is pretty loud fuel pump i wanted to show y'all the cold start on this truck but i decided to turn it on the knee because i didn't want to wake up all my neighbors real early so we're heading out to the track. We got motor out there waiting with some tires. He decided to get some tires for us last night, like around 3, 4 in the morning, which is today. He's at the track waiting for us. He's out there hanging out with the Project 4 guys. We're going to get those tires, take them to get mounted, and we should get some great passes out of this truck. On six pounds of boost, I got seven seconds. We're going to try to get a 6.8 out of the six pounds, or maybe even a little bit better. We'll try to hit it at full boost with the right tires. Those tires that I'm getting right now are going to work a lot better than these. I'm trying to see how it's going to handle with the tires. let us back up in there change out the wheels and tires or actually change out the tires on the wheels so that boy motor went all out he didn't tell me he got me drags and i'm actually pretty proud of that because i joined the 750 class and the 650 class but i'll probably be able to join the 60 class and maybe something a little bit faster because he did get me drags my whole issue with not running fast today was my traction but we're gonna be taking care of that
güey, cuando, cuando estábamos en la pista, güey, le di y la troca nomás iba así culeando, güey. Todo, todo, like, all the way down. Y luego, cuando le frené, como los frenos como que chillan, como que se está amarrando el freno. Pero ahorita lo bueno es que estamos en la raíz, más porque me espantaría con forma Con estas, that's gonna be a different story. We're gonna be able to take off nasty. Yesterday we only did six pounds. Today we might do this whole 22 pounds. We're gonna try it out. If it's still on hook, then I just need more suspension. And for sure today we'll figure out how much more suspension I need after that. Hey, ¿cuál es la que me vendiste for the blue truck? Three link. Three link. Three link. Yes, so we got a three link for my blue. I got it from him, but I think I'm gonna probably have to go with the four link for this one. I don't know yet. If we do the mono link on it, lo que hace ese es que estos se doblan, ¿verdad? Sí. Estos se doblan. The mono link, whenever you take off, it like slides like plate, and that's what causes it to like just rip and take off. And that's probably what we're gonna be doing first before we do the four link. But uh, I think mono leaves might fix our issue on the six pounds for sure. But for the 22 pounds, we're definitely gonna need at least a three link to make it hook. But I'm gonna keep on taking these off because my boy has to work on these tires and we gotta get back to the track. got me ready to race, huh? He set the tires up to 15 pounds, so we should be ready to just go out there and do a couple hits. Hopefully, they haven't started the bracket racing. I'm on the 7.5 class. I don't know what's first or what's last, so we're just hoping that 7.5 and 6.5 class aren't done already. We're gonna take these home because we might be able to still use these on La Perlita. What you yeah. think? Yeah, I think so. They should be able to hook. I mean, La Perlita got like, what, 550? Nah, I actually got like 200 horsepower. It's a Honda VTEC motor inside of it. Hey, ¿qué motor trae La Perlita? Un 2.4 VTEC? I'm gonna see. So, on the side note, we didn't bring La Perlita because I just didn't want to bring two trucks and run the risk of breaking that Perlita. We had a couple little issues we ran into, and instead of bringing it out here and risking it like I normally would, I said, man, you know what? I'm gonna wait it out, and we're gonna make sure that I don't break down just for trying to be eager to race it. All right, guys, that's going to be it. We just got back here with the drags on and took off the hood earlier, as y'all saw. So we're going to be here. We're going to try to get a test and tune because I haven't seen how this truck is going to run on these tires. So I'm hoping to get a test and tune. I'm going to go up there and say, hey, uh, they told me I had one chance to go up there, see if they're going to allow me to do it. But this is how we're going to finish the vlog, guys. Go ahead and make sure you watch the next vlog. It's going to be nothing but crazy ass racing.